Hello guys, this is Rich Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But if all started devotion guys, I'd like to shout out to the Pernambuco channel. Then I put that ito at the join sa devotional. Shout out to God bless the Retro Blog, Ping Mir Torpo, Juna Salandaga, Michael Aburita, Yans TV, Connie Blog, SSC TV of Korea, Seisha Love, Rosel Bedong, Jusarinko Studio, Pamilya Lagan Channel, Sweetie Dean Quadra, Hart Ponsalan, Ross Crop, IB Blog, Heidi Leonis, Joan Idago, Yurika de la Cruz, Jamai Karimota, Honila, Francis Laiko, Karin Bakaron, John Silros Magdasal, Francis Hagen, Emilito, Prince Sendo, Jay Dariada, Jamaica Daing, Bless Sherry Chavez, Rika May Palma, Ken Fernandez, Nathaniel Avilia, and even to those that are joining us during the premiere, but still not to the parin dito para manood at pakinig sa devotional. God bless us all, guys. So guys, few weeks more to go, vacation na naman, no? December na kasi, kasi we really need to enjoy our vacation, especially that the Filipinos celebration for Christmas is really so nice, no? Compared to other nations, kaya sulitin natin, i-enjoy natin yung pag-ano natin pag-vacation. Kaya habang we're still waiting for the vacation, let's do what we can do, save as much as possible so we can also give gifts to our loved ones. Okay guys, let's now proceed to our devotional. Let's open our Bible to 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 1 to 10. Still guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words used here so simplified na maintindihan talaga natin. Okay, the word of the Lord. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 1 to 10 says, When I come to you, brothers, I did not come with eloquence or superior wisdom as I proclaim to you the testimony about God. But I resolved to know nothing while I was with you, except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear, and with much trembling. My messages, my preaching were not with wise and persuasive words, but with demonstration of the Spirit's words, so that your faith might not rest on man's wisdom, but on God's power. We do, however, Speak a message of wisdom among mature, but not the wisdom of this age or of the rulers of this age, who are coming to nothing. No, we speak of God's secrets, wisdom, a wisdom that has been hidden, and that God destined for our glory before time began. None of the rulers of this age understood it, for if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. However, as it is written, no eyes has seen, no ears has heard, no mind has conceived what God has prepared for those who love Him. But God has revealed it to us by His Spirit. The Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. Amen and Amen. I guess that's not very. Father, our knowledge is truly nothing compared to the wisdom you have. That's why, Lord God, and every day before we wake up, wake up, we are already asking you of wisdom what to do for the whole day. And in the evening, we can thank you for the wisdom you have given us and want to bring you all back all the glories, honor, and praises. Father God, to all those who are here in this channel for this devotional, thank you for the wisdom you have given them, that you have convicted them to come, to join, and learn about the devotional, oh God. Lord, thank you that as uh, we are here in this uh, devotional, may we listen of what word you're going to release for us in order to bless us and bless other people who are around us, particularly our loved ones. Thank you for blessing our needs, oh God. May it be physical, healing, uh, mental, emotional, financial provision, and above all, spiritual. Bless also the family we are representing, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen and Amen.
Okay guys, our focus verse for this evening is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 2, and it says, I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Amen. So the title of the devotion for this evening, guys, is Heros, Tyrants, and Jesus. Beethoven was angry. He had intended to name his third symphony the Bonaparte. The Bonaparte. <laughs> Yun yung kasi yung ano. Uh, kasi Beethoven, I think, is, Ita is Italian. No? And then my Italian friend taught me how to pronounce it. No? The Bonaparte. In an age of religious and political tyranny, he saw Napoleon as a hero of the people and champion of freedom. But when the French general declared himself emperor, the celebrated composer changed his mind, denouncing his former hero as a rascal and tyrant. Oh, grabe, no? Grabe yung, ano, yung, ano niya, yung identity niya, pag describe niya. He rubbed so hard. To erase Bonaparte's name, Bonaparte's name, that he left a hole in the original score. Early believers in Jesus must have been disappointed when their hopes of political reform were dust. He had steered hopes of life without the tyranny of Caesar's heavy handed taxes and military presence. Yet, decades later, Rome still ruled the world. Jesus' messenger were left with fears and weaknesses. His disciples were marked by immaturity and infighting in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 12 to 11 to 12 and then chapter 3 verse 1 to 3. But there was a difference. Paul saw beyond remain and change. His letters began ended and overflowed with the name of Christ. Christ resurrected. Christ with a promise to return in power. Christ in judgment of everything and everyone first and foremost. However, Paul wanted believers in Jesus to be grounded in the meaning and implications of him crucified. The love expressed in Jesus' uh, sacrifice made him different kinds of leader. As Lord and Savior of the world, his cross changes everything. The name of Jesus will forever be known and praised about every name. Amen and amen. Siguro guys, si uh, sino yun sa tempo ni Beethoven, no? mm, ano siya, uh, gusto niya magiging sikat din. Kaya, kaya lang narab yung pagiging sikat niya. Kaya he changed the perception he has against his uh, uh, mga tyrants, no? Ano yung description niya? Rascal and tyrant. Grabe, napaka-rascal naman. <laughs> parang, uh, for me, I don't like that word, rascal, no? That means, parang, you're not good, no? Kasi, pili siguro niya na siya lang yung good at that time. Pero, at least, because of the perception, no? Na change yung mind niya, and uh, it changes things. Kaya, ako, I really like Beethoven's uh, symphony, no? Uh, gusto ko talaga yung Beethoven Symphony. I really enjoyed listening on it. Tayo, as we resolve no, things na God is crucified, what will we do? Ano kaya nagawa natin in order to be with Christ? Yes, I have been to so much problem, particularly in health and finances, and I'm still really struggling with it. And uh, I, I know it's not only me who's talking about it, but siguro may iba din sa atin dito. Kaya my prayer is that, Lord, give us what we need. Peace of mind. No, gaya nung na-discuss natin dito. No, kailangan talaga natin ng peace of mind despite the things that happens around us. Magulo. Grabe. Nagkakagulo na ang mundo. Kaya ano yung gagawin natin? Magpa Magpapakariwara pa rin ba tayo? Or we have to focus on things na we are at peace together with our family. Yan yung ginagawa ni Paul. No? Kasi yung ang Corinthians is magulo na church. Kaya buti na lang andyan si Paul to resolve the problems they are experiencing. At sana ganun din mayari sa atin. Ma-resolve natin yung problems na we are suffering of course with God's guidance and wisdom.
I guess it's not proceed to the two question. How is Jesus different from other leaders? Yes, if our leader is godly, then the nation would really prosper. Yun lang, no? Ako, I choose to have a leader na godly siya kasi I know uh, understanding siya, hindi niya pressure yung mga ano niya, yung mga subordinates niya, kasi takot siya kay God. May leader pa na mas mahigit pa sa kanya. Second question, how can you identify with Paul's recall of his own weakness and fear? Yes, I have my weakness, I have my fear. Kaya papasadyos mo na lang yan. Wala akong magawa if I struggle. No? Uh, ano lang yan? It gives us pressure again. It stresses us. Kaya I have to give it to God. Guys, my third question pa pala. How does Jesus help you with that? Yes, through prayer because I keep on praying, uh, God answers my prayer. Ang ano ko na ngayon hini, okay Lord, is Lord, teach me to be more prayerful. As I pray for myself, as I pray for my family, as I pray for other people. Kaya, the very assurance you have na dito ka sa channel na Rich TV, every evening sa devotional is you are being prayed for. I guess let's not pray. Father, please help us to see your heart in the sacrifice of your son. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, let's focus on God. God bless us all, guys, because I know God's surely blesses 10 times better. This is again the Church TV. Kita-kita tayo mo. Pa'ala!